Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be checking out Linux FX or better known as Windows FX. To be honest, I don't know whether or not to take this operating system seriously. So let's get started. Now Linux FX is actually a Brazilian Linux distro that is based off Ubuntu and it uses Cinnamon as the desktop environment where they themed it to make it look like Windows 10. Now this is to help or aid people coming from Windows to Linux. This way they're more familiar with it. And that's what we're gonna be checking out. Now the installation process was very, very simple. It was more like a Windows slash Linux Ubuntu type installer. So for people who are just getting into Linux, it seems to be pretty easy to install and first boot and everything it really does look like windows now i'm on the login screen right now and uh, it's a pretty cool wallpaper and then it's got this uh, ubuntu style login so or gnome login i'm just getting into it for the first time i have not seen the desktop operating system other than loading the installer but as you can see this could definitely trick a lot of scammers like it really looks just the desktop alone looks like windows a mouse looks like Windows, but look, look, if I move my mouse over here, it changes the mouse theme. So something's going on over here. Now this is supposed to look like a Cortana thing, but I know this doesn't have Cortana. So uh, install Sentinel VMs, start Windows, start using Windows FX. Do not start this Hella system. Okay, this is a little bit messed up. Now this is in a different language where they translate it back to English. So I'm guessing that's why it doesn't look that good. Um, I'm guessing do not start this. Okay, so since this is a fresh boot, let's take a look at the task manager to see what it's doing. And it takes about 1.1 uh, gig of RAM, which isn't too bad. Okay, uh, let's pop over to settings to see what they have in the settings menu. And we have backgrounds. Okay, so we could choose between there what's in settings. Uh, solid color, play as slideshow, uh, picture aspects, so it's like zoom. Okay. Uh, we got effects, so we could actually change some effects around cinnamon or you could enable fade and stuff like that. What's in customization? Let's see. Oh, okay, so this could actually change all the timings for when the windows pop up and stuff. Okay. We got font selection. All right. Then we go into themes, which is what I'm interested in. Let's see, window borders. Oh, yeah, see, look, they actually have a dark theme. That actually doesn't look too bad. You have your icon, so you could actually choose between GNOME and all these other stuff. Okay, controls. Ah, see, you have the dark. So if I was to change this to dark and change this to dark, that doesn't look too bad. And then you also have like this, where you could actually change it back to the light. Oh, so you still have to change everything back to light. Okay, it doesn't automatically change everything to light. All right. Um, and then we have add and remove settings all right i'm going to change this back because i don't know what happened to the bottom but it looks really weird so i'm just going to change it back to dark go back so they have accessibility account detail applets date and time desklets okay so you could actually show the clock and everything you could download general settings for it okay uh desktop extensions let's see what's in the extensions oh, okay the transparent panel uh, general, hot corners, panels, preferred applications, screensaver, startup, windows, window tiling, workspaces, Bluetooth, color, display. Okay, normal stuff. It's like XFCE, but yeah, they have all the settings in here, but the themes are pretty cool. I mean, they had the two themes with the dark and everything. Okay, um, we're all familiar with this wallpaper. This is a Windows 10 wallpaper, I think ever since uh, 1903. They replaced it with this wallpaper. Start menu looks very familiar. They kept it black and the icons look very familiar as well. Look at the files icon, Chrome, the store icon. And we know the software is probably going to be Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, CPU usage. What is this? Click to open. I'm guessing this is update. Oh, no, it's weather. Uh, network icon. I don't have network installed on here right now. Well, I didn't connect the Wi-Fi yet. Uh, volume. And then you have your clock and then your session, which is log on, log off and stuff. The start menu looks eerily familiar like a windows 10 start menu and i could tell you something's wrong with this already it can't be windows 10 because it doesn't say activate windows on the bottom right see it's missing this whole thing let's uh, click on cortana and see what happens here uh hello i'm here to help you that's what cortana would say find the file configure display initial setup so it's not a voice chat it's just to get through the operating system settings 
This is still in a different language, okay? So it's not fully translated over. Uh, this is workspaces. Okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna click on the software center, as I thought, Ubuntu um, software center. Does this have Snap? Let's see. I'm pretty sure it probably does have Snap. Let's let's see if I could go uh, terminal. Is that a thing, or did they call the command prompt? I don't know. Nope, they call the terminal. Let's see. Snap. Oh, Snap is installed. What about Flatpak? Yep, Flatpak is installed. So okay, a Snap and Flatpak is installed, and supposedly Wine is installed too. So. If I type wine version, yep, wine stable 5.0, even though we're up to 5.8 right now, if you're using beta release, but yeah, it's using uh, wine stable, so that's pre installed already. Uh, let's look at the files. I'm telling you, whoa, this looks so like they themed it so close to Windows 10. Like these icons, the actual menu. Um, let's, let's take a look down what we got archive manager which is the normal archive manager you get you Ubuntu, I forgot the name of it. Uh, backups, Bellana, Etcher, uh, calculator, files, fonts, helps, these icons, seriously, man. Mousepad, this is probably the closest thing because this mousepad looks like notepad. So yeah, that looks pretty much like notepad. Let me close all these things out. Um, screenshot, plank, Text info, okay. Virtual keyboard, wine tricks, okay. Uh, Libre, office, math, games. Oh, oh, it has Steam pre-installed. Graphics, you have Inkscape, image viewer. This is probably GUN viewer. Yeah, genome viewer. Okay. Uh, Inkscape, internet, you have Firefox, Google, Microsoft Teams, he pre-installed that. Transmission, uh, Torrent program, Steam, Skype, Office, you have the LibreOffice suite, but you put the <laughs> Microsoft icon on there. Evolution has the email client, okay. Uh, Kodi is pre-installed, cool. Simple screen recorder, VLC media player, administrator. File manager, HTOP, okay. Software updater, this is probably just a normal Ubuntu software updater thing. Yeah, there it is. It's no internet, so it's not gonna start. Um, administrator terminal uses and groups. I wonder how that looks. Even their warning icon looks very familiar. Like they really tried really hard to get everything themed to look like Windows. So I'm guessing when people switch over, they're more familiar with what they're trying to look for. But it's really a Linux environment. I get it, but I don't know. Now I know that they actually offer this in Raspberry Pi as well. So I wonder if Raspberry Pi will have like wine installed and all that stuff, but I doubt it. They probably just made it look like Windows 10 so they could get away with it. But uh, I gotta be honest to say, it looks and feels like Windows 10, but I still don't know how to make heads or tails with it. I don't know if I'll, I would use the operating system that looks too much like Windows 10, but for people who are just getting into like Windows and Linux and stuff like that, maybe that makes sense. Oh wow, their applets thing look like you know the Windows uh, features, like you can add and remove features, but they made it look like just little applets. That's pretty cool. Desktop, you could use desktop icons, my documents, music. If I go into file system, it's probably going to be on the home. Yeah, see. That's about it. I mean, it looks and feels very similar to like um, a normal operating system, but I gotta be honest, I, I really don't know if I would use it. But if you guys are interested, let me know if you want me to do a review on this for Raspberry Pi, because I'm pretty sure the applications between this version and Raspberry Pi would be very, very similar, minus the fact that this has wine and that one doesn't. But I'm pretty sure they probably made shortcuts where if I was to run an EXE, it'll probably just run directly off Wine, which you do, it happens once you install Wine. Chrome, I think it's gonna probably just look like Chrome. The mouse icon even looks like, like a very Windows-esque icon. Chrome started up, let's see how their internet looks. Oh, this looks just like, very similar to, oh, uh, look at that, authentication required. 
let's see if I log into okay you got the icon that shows up on the top right this would have been like a notify icon or like clear desktop but that's not there uh, now that I got Wi-Fi hooked up does anything change still looks pretty much the same that that was pretty cool the the weather thing came up if I was to hit on Cortana does anything change here nope All in all, it just is a very themed up cinnamon desktop using Ubuntu as a base that makes it look like Windows 10. Uh, there's still a long way to go because you could see a lot of things that I was checking out. The languages did not switch over. It looks they themed a lot, not just only the window themes and the start menu themes and all that stuff. They actually themed a lot of the notifications and how stuff would be displayed especially like if i was to click on the wi-fi thing it looks very similar to like a windows 10 thing where it says network settings network connections i, I guess it, it does make sense to people who are planning to switch over to linux but they don't want to ditch the whole windows 10 start menu thing this could switch over but honestly i, I don't know what to make sense of i mean <laughs> as i said earlier if you were to put this desktop and do like one of those scam calls they would definitely think it's not when they would definitely think it's windows I i'm telling you now it looks really good as far as um me using it i don't think the whole point of switching to linux is for the customizability and the different look to switch over to linux and have the same look as windows 10 is something i'm trying to avoid so that's just me anyway let me know what your thoughts about this operating system are down in the comments below if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.